www.christiangroup.net. When coffee just doesn't do it for you anymore, put a little shake up and you wake up. Wake up. This is Henry Hinton and Talk of the Town. I listen to the radio in the car every morning. You have been a big part of my morning for a long time. Talk 103.7 WTIB. Okay, welcome back. It's the Talk of the Town at 8.05, five minutes after 8 o'clock. Welcome to Monday Morning Talk of the Town. And uh, going to be warm again today. Not as warm as it was over the weekend, but um, still warm temperatures today up in the 70s. And um, then we are moving into some temperatures tomorrow that will not get nearly as warm as the last few days. In fact, today may be near 80. 79 for a high today, looking for sunshine, and 78. Uh, Tuesday, uh, 65, but a 30% chance of rain. On Wednesday, we've got uh, morning showers and high temperatures in the upper 50s. Welcome to the Radio Ranch this morning. It's good to have everybody with us. And um, we are looking for all sorts of uh, positive signs to come out of this uh, little crisis that we're in here. And we're looking for the uh, silver linings. So uh, we've got some good news stories coming up for you here in just a minute. Trent McGee is here. Good morning, McGee. Good morning, Ian. Nice to see you. Michael Buscemi you. is uh, producing in the uh, control room this morning. Um, here's some good news story. You know, we I, I feel like we let it off last hour with all the bad news. And by the way, we're going to have the police chief for Greenville on in just a couple of minutes, Chief Holtzman is going to come on and kind of give us an update of how things are, are going after. I guess this is day four of the Greenville um, uh, stay-at-home order, stop the spread order that P.J. Conley called it. And, um, of course, today at 5 o'clock, the statewide order goes into effect from Governor Cooper, which we'll talk to uh, the police chief about that in just a couple of minutes. So, some positive things. Delta is now offering fleet free flights to medical volunteers who want to help out in Louisiana, Georgia, and Michigan. They might also add California, New York, and Washington soon. So if you're a medical, volunteer, of a medical person and you want to volunteer in Louisiana, Georgia, or Michigan, you can go on the Delta website, get more information. They'll fly you down there for free. A mailman in England has been cheering people up by dressing, dressing up in several different costumes to delivering a, the mail. He dressed up as a Trojan soldier and a German beer maid. <laughs> <laughs> there may be more to that story than what we're hearing. You know, maybe the guy had a need to dress up in women's clothing. I don't know. A principal in Traverse City, Michigan, could not do announcements the normal way, so she went to a fast food drive through to tell a teenager who works there that she is the she's been chosen as the valedictorian of her class, and I saw that video this morning. the The girl is uh, I've not seen that yet. She's working at like a burger joint, and uh, the principal pulls up at the drive thru A Minnesota doctor got pulled over for speeding the other day and burst into tears when the cop gave her own gave her his own N95 face mask instead of a ticket. <laughs> A restaurant in San Francisco has been flooded with orders after they launched a program called a doctor, Adopt a Doctor or Nurse that lets you send meals to hospital workers. That's a great idea. A bunch of cops in New Jersey organized a free pizza day for their community and handed out 300 pizzas. Uh, now other departments across the country might do it also. A church in Cincinnati raised $230,000 to cover babysitting and child care costs for health care workers who are on the front lines. The owner of a pharmacy in New York is not changing people's uh, for medications if they not charging people for medications if they can't afford them. He says they're mainly giving out pills for things like diabetes and, and high blood pressure if people cannot afford them. An anonymous mom in Maryland has been leaving free brown bag lunches for anyone who might need them. And uh, remember this guy who went viral last week? A guy in Brooklyn saw a woman dancing on her roof and used his drone to give uh, her his phone number. Well, now they're dating. <laughs> they had a virtual dinner date from across the street. Then he then uh, he got inside a big plastic Zorb ball, and they went on a walk together. A Zorb ball? That's what it says, Z-O-R-B. What's a Zorb ball? Is that one of the th those things that you, you can actually walk in? I guess. <laughs> I didn't know the name of it. So there is some positive news out there. There is. And a lot of good deals out there right now if you want to go out and buy 
you know, this or that. I mean, if you look around, you can find some really good deals right now. A lot of things. Oh, yeah. Like gas. Like gas. That's one <laughs> of them. I mean, I'm seeing as low as 130. Oh, where'd uh, you see 133, that? I think, in Tarboro. No kidding. Yeah. But still around the 180s here in Green. I was told it was like 150 down in uh, Craven County at one of the convenience stores on 70 between uh, Newbern and Havelock over the weekend. Mm -hmm. I, that's the lowest I've heard, 150. Uh, so who was it? Pirate Al that called said he bought it down at Blunt's Creek for like 150. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> still 180 here, though. Uh, so uh, I, uh, I, I got into some binge watching over the weekend. I finished Tiger King. Have you seen that yet? I know, but I just read, you know, Business NC puts out that Daily Digest, and it had a 96% viewer rating over the weekend. What does that mean? 96% approval? Maybe that's what it means. I don't know. But it just seemed high to me, so I was like, that's got to be a good thing for it. But no, I have, not, I have not watched it yet. But everyone is. Everyone's talking about it. The, um, if you haven't seen this, the Tiger King, you know, it's, hard to, it's hard to believe that people like that actually exist in the world. <laughs> but I guess they do. Because this is a reality. Uh, it's a documentary about this guy that owns a zoo. Actually, it's about several people in the uh, in the world. So he owns a zoo. He doesn't, just doesn't own the cats. I thought he no, just, he owned a zoo. Okay, I didn't call the GW Zoo out in the middle of nowhere in Oklahoma, and um, and he uh, he he's at war with um, this woman who's an animal rights activist down in Florida uh, named Carol Baskin, and he he just, it's it's a five year battle that ends up. I mean, and I'm not I'm not spoiling it for you because you learned this in the first scene. It ends up with him in jail for trying to have her killed. Wow! But he is the most. His name is Joe Exotic. He changed his name to Joe Exotic, and he became kind of a celebrity. Um, he was on a bunch. Of, he had he had a, a daily internet TV show, but he was on the cover of Hollywood Reporter magazines and. Hmm. He just became this uh, th this huge, larger than life character out in Cal in, in, in Oklahoma that owned all these. Uh, I think at one time he said he owned 227 big cats, wow. tigers, lions, leopards, and and you know you could go to his uh, you could go to his zoo out in Oklahoma and you could actually touch the cats and uh, pet them, the the little ones. Right. The, but uh, the, the, it was you could get closer to a you closer get as, as he said there you could get closer to a big cat there than anywhere else in the world. Does it talk about how you actually go about owning a big cat? Because how, I mean, how do you? Well, how that's you part of the thing. He was he was breeding them to sell. He swore that he wasn't, but he was, uh, and that's that's partly what got got him in trouble. And um, yeah, I don't know. You, you know, there there are people. It's it's an underground business because it's not legal. But uh, not to breed them to sell. So he, he was doing that. Is he still locked up? Well, yeah, I'm not going to give everything away. Okay. I'm okay. not going to give it okay. all away. I'm just going to say what you would learn in the first few minutes of the documentary. But it's interesting because he's a gay, polygamist, redneck drug user. He lures he he lured these young guys to um, to him with um, marijuana and meth. And it, 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 you just have to see it to believe that there are people like that. But look, the, 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 it's not just him. They, were, they tell the story of other uh, big cat guys. Did you know that there's a big cat safari in, in, uh, in Myrtle Beach? No. Apparently, it just got shut down in December of this year, this past year. No. And uh, this guy, Doc Antle, was running this huge, um, what he calls safari preserve, where he had big cats and other things too that you could pay, and and people would pay three hundred and forty dollars a day to go on the on the campus there to uh, uh, to to pet these tigers and lions. I you know I've never had a need to do that. No, and, they and, fascinate and, me, but not to and, that extent. Well, after watching this documentary, I've come to the uh, belief that if you are one of those people that has this intense desire to be around. Uh, wild, dangerous animals like that—that that you probably also have some of these other crazy personality traits 
that some of these guys in this documentary I'd be willing to bet that, that. that you just have to see to believe. I mean, the, some of the stuff that happens is not believable. But here was my favorite binge of the weekend. The, uh, my fa- favorite binge watching of the weekend is that uh, season three of Ozark came out. Now, are you into Ozark at all? I'm not. Uh, I've always been a Jason Bateman fan. I've always liked Jason Bateman. I've, I, I like him. He and Laura Lenny are fantastic in this uh, in this miniseries called Ozark. If you have not seen it, now I will tell you, it's a little dark. It's not a comedy, and it's not something you want to watch with your children. But if you if you're interested in a really uh, entertaining uh, series drama, this would be it. If you have not started watching Ozark yet, anybody disagree with anything I just said? Call us two five two five six one eight two five five. I'd love to hear what other people's attitudes are about the Tiger King. Does anybody else want to talk about the Tiger King? You you have to see it to believe it. Two five two five six one eight two five five. Uh, or, or Ozark, if you want to talk about that. Let's get a break in and we'll come back. we got to get news headlines in. The uh, chief of police for Greenville is going to join us in a few minutes as well. Stay with us. Trying to stay in shape while you're at home? Vidant Wellness is streaming live classes to you through social media. Follow Vidant Wellness on Facebook and Instagram to see live classes and so much more. Live exercise classes include titles such as Pilates, Yoga, Zumba, CrossFit, Tai Chi, Interval, and Senior Dance. Recorded exercise workouts from the Les Mills brand, including classes like Body Combat, Body Pump, and Body Attack. Live nutrition classes from registered dietitians, including demos, heart-healthy snacks, how to shop healthy in our current environment, weight loss education, and what's new with plant-based foods. Also, watch for stress tips in classes like yoga to help us manage and cope with stress. Violet Wellness will have it all for you, and it's free, so get ready to work out, cook healthy, and remove stress from your day. Follow Vidant Wellness on Facebook and Instagram to see all these great classes from your wellness professionals. <coughs> no one needs long car rides when they're feeling sick, so it's good to know Vidant offers quality care close to home. For help with colds and flu, see doctors online at vidantnow.com or visit our immediate care clinics for sprains and pains. And when it's more serious or life threatening, Go to the closest ER at your local Vidant Hospital. With this many choices so near, you're always close to feeling better. Learn more at vidanthealth.com slash care local. I'm in the studio with my good friend Brian Smith. Brian is a small business specialist with Town Insurance. And uh, Brian, tell us why a small business should come to town to, for their insurance needs. Well, Henry, the, the business owners are very busy the, these days, so let town do the shopping for you we have access to over 270 companies and we can shop your insurance for you and take the time that instead of calling other people other agencies we can save you time and money by shopping you with 270 companies and brian how long does it typically take to get an insurance package put together for a small business recently we had a client call and within an hour we had taking care of his insurance needs. That's that's amazing. Folks, if you've got a small business and you need insurance, give Brian and the folks at Town Insurance a call at 252-756-8300, or you can get them online at townwithaneinsurance.com. Ahoy, mateys! To keep those cars clean, you need the Pirate's Cove Fast Pass. Pirate's Cove Car Wash and Havilland Express Lube is on Fire Tower Road in front of the movie theater. Hey. Also on Memorial Drive at Arlington. Arr, but wait, there's a third location coming soon to 10th Street, so we have you surrounded. Hey. The Captain's Special is unlimited $20 washes for only $39.99 a month, and the Walk the Plank Pass is unlimited $12 washes for only $24.99 a month. Pirate's Cove, the official car wash partner of ECU Athletics. Make sure you take Talk of the Town with you anywhere you go. Online at WTIBFM.com. Now, back to the show. Here's Henry Hinton. Some of our friends are uh, hacking on me because of my uh, description of the Tiger King. Yeah, you left out a few things about him. Didn't give him enough credit. You left out the fact that he's a magician, a singer, (laughs) internet personality. You said that. 
presidential and gubernatorial candidate. He ran for president and governor. Jack of all trades. <laughs> you got to see this show to believe. <laughs> he ran for governor? <laughs> he did. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, wow. wow. Brad says he's been watching Ozark. Good morning, Brad. You're on. How are you? Hey, good morning. Actually, I've been watching Ozark in the bedroom, and my wife's been watching your Tiger King in the living room. <laughs> I, you know, I think Ozark, I, I'm binge watching it. Don't tell me anything. I just finished episode six last night. I, I, I'm, I'm about where you are. Uh, but when you said it was dark, you said a mouthful. The whole show's been dark, and I'm talking about contrast of the picture. Yeah, it's almost I, like the whole show's been at nighttime. It's not, it's, there no, were a couple. No of, there were a couple of times that I thought it was jumping the shark. You know, I was like, eh, this is yeah. this is now not believable. But, you know, the situation right. that they find themselves in, uh, this family yeah. that lives lives in the Ozarks in uh, in Missouri, um, I mean, I, you know, anyone who's not watched this yet won't understand any of this, but the situation they find themselves in is an impossible situation because uh, the father has gotten himself mixed up with the uh, Mexican drug cartel and his wife, <laughs> his wife has all of a sudden become, you know, way ambitious, and it's creating lots of problems. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I, I have enjoyed it. I, I wasn't crazy about season two because you know season one's always the best. Um, I will say, I will say the one humorous thing about Ozark in this season is that that they're going to a marriage counselor, and they're both bribing the marriage counselor. <laughs> Oh yeah, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so, it depends on which one's going to give him the most so he, money. So he pays uh, he pays the marriage counselor to say certain things in the counseling session to try to bring his wife around to uh, his point of view, and then all of a sudden he realizes that she's bribing him. She's bribing <laughs> the counselor also. <laughs> oh my God, you can't make that up. All right, thank you, Brad. Good to hear from okay. you. Hey, man, thank you. Have a good day. All right, 252-561-8255. If you want to talk about the Tiger King or or Ozark. or What else are you binge watching that might be worthy? Uh, anybody else got anything? 252-561-8255. Uh, Michael's lining up a call there. While we're doing that, let me remind you to uh, support our local restaurants. One of the things that uh, my friend Homer Tire did, over the weekend, uh, it start an on-air challenge, the Keep Them Open Challenge, where he is challenging people to just send a donation to a business. And um, he did that. I'm going to do it. Uh, and, uh, you know, just a $100 donation just to give them some publicity and then to start the chain and keep it going. So um, the... Uh, the, 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 the thing that I think that everyone should do is support your local businesses right now as much as you can. Some of our restaurants are still open. Texas Roadhouse continues to uh, do a big takeout business. Moore's Old Fashioned Barbecue and Seafood. Uh, the Rick House. Ottavola Market Cafe on Red Banks Road. CPW's in Stanton Square. Nino's on Red Banks. The Artist Cafe in Winterville. Pops Old Fashioned Cheeseburgers is open for lunch. You know, I might go get Finelli to make me a, uh, something for lunch today. He's got a lot of healthy choices there also. Um, also, uh, a couple others I wanted to mention. Great Harvest Bread Company is open. Uh, go support those guys. Boy, what great guys they are. And uh, they're like everybody else. They're trying to keep the doors open through this. Uh, Danny at the Seahorse Restaurant, another great local favorite. Um, by the way, Michael, Danny said he's going to bring lunch over for, one, for us one day this week. So uh, we'll find out about that and let you know when. Uh, Krispy Kreme's open also. And Krispy Kreme's got – they're doing something for health care people. Today, right? starting today and every Monday through the end of May, they're going to give uh, health care workers a free dozen donuts. Just pull up the drive through show your badge. That's all you have to do. What a great deal that is. All right, very good. Uh, we're going to have Chief Mark Holtzman on in a couple of minutes. Keith is on the phone right now. Keith, what are you watching? What are you binging on? I saw the Tiger King, <laughs> and it was addictive. <laughs> you know I what? Kept I kept telling my wife, I said, I, you know, I kind of don't want to watch this anymore. But but the truth of the matter is, is that I, I, it's almost like a, a car accident. You're passing by. You can't. Yes. 
you can't turn away. <laughs> yes, this guy ran for president. Then he ran for governor. <laughs> he was one block short of a Lego set. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great way to put it. I mean, everybody in there was just cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, it's hard to believe there are that many crazy people in one place, aren't they? Isn't it? <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for the call. All right. All right. 25 <laughs> after. I tell you what, McGee. Um, Go ahead and give us a few news headlines. The uh, the police chief's going to call us. We got to stay on schedule, but we can get we can get a few headlines. Out. Okay, North Carolina has about twelve hundred cases of coronavirus and six deaths as of March 29th, according to data reported from the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services and County Health Departments. As of Sunday, nearly four out of five of North Carolina's counties had reported at least one case. Mecklenburg County has reported the most cases with 336. Pitt County has 15 confirmed cases. And today, North Carolina's statewide stay-at-home order goes into effect at 5 o'clock. Governor Roy Cooper signed the executive order on Friday to help mitigate the spread of the coronavirus. The order calls for all North Carolina citizens to reduce their travel and stay home as much as possible. It does not ban essential business or make it illegal for citizens to be outside their homes to get fresh air. The order will stay in effect until April 29th. Henry. All right, very good. 26 after 8 o'clock. Let's check our weather forecast right now. Uh, Going to be another warm day in eastern North Carolina. Not as warm as yesterday. Looking for a high today of about 79 degrees and uh, high temperatures tomorrow, 65. No chance of rain today. About a 30% chance of rain uh, tomorrow and 30% chance on Wednesday. And temperatures Wednesday supposedly not even going to hit 60. So David Kuhn just took a shot at me. Ho! He's watching. On, I like when David takes. He's watching on you. TV. He says, "I bet the Tiger King never wore a sweater vest like I've got on." What's wrong with my sweater vest? What's wrong with my vest, Coon? <laughs> it's a golf sweater vest. I don't understand what. Why you got? Why you got to hack on me like that? All right, twenty-seven after. Let's get a break. <laughs> when do we were, t- you know, just because he played golf at Wake Forest, he thinks he's something. He thinks he's better than all of us. He probably is. Let's take a break and come back. The police chief for Greenville, Mark Holtzman, will join us right after the other side of this break. Aging is inevitable. Looking your age doesn't have to be. Beauty Bar Medispa can help you fight signs of aging gracefully and naturally. Erase fine lines, crow's feet, and wrinkles with Botox. Consider filler to restore deflated, tired-looking skin or to achieve the lips you've always wanted. Rejuvenate dull, dry, and dehydrated skin and target brown spots with one of our many medical-grade facials. Plus, Beauty Bar Medispa now offers fibroblasting, the latest in skin-tightening technology used in conjunction with filler and Botox botox or as a standalone treatment fibroblasting broadens the scope of treatment areas rendering even the baggiest of eyelids subject to tightening they're proud of their work and deliver results in an atmosphere that encourages both comfort and confidence visit the website to see before and after results of actual beauty bar clients at beautybarmedispa.com dr melissa baritich and her staff will help you look your best at any age but be prepared to turn heads beauty bar medispa red banks road in green Bill. Looking forward to warmer weather but not the harsh summer rays? Then give the guys at Vortex Shade Solutions a call. Locally owned and serving eastern North Carolina for over 11 years, Vortex Shades can provide you with a fashionable sunsetter awning to protect your deck or patio. Vortex Shades also offers heat blocking solar shades and four season sunrooms. Vortex Shades is the solution to all your shade needs. Give Chuck and Heather a call at Vortex Shade Solutions at 252 364 1900. That's 252 364 1900. Looking for great prices on gas and snacks and a friendly smile? Well, you'll see your neighbors at both Country Mart locations in Pitt County. And if you need ethanol-free premium gas for your small engines, Country Mart has that too. And check out Smitty's Restaurant at the Bethel Store for everyday lunch specials and breakfast, including their famous cheese biscuits. The Stokes location is serving up great food every day too. Now home of Gulf Products, Country Mart, Highway 11 between Greenville and Bethel and Highway 903 in Stokes. 
What if you could eliminate arthritis pain with zero side effects? Laser therapy is a safe and painless way to reduce inflammation and pain from many conditions. Here is Shane, who lost his right leg when he was younger and was recommended to have a knee replacement from damage and overuse of his good leg. Being an amputee for 28 years and overcoming that and then having um, to deal with my good leg giving me problems mm -hmm. really was very frustrating. After just a few weeks of laser treatments, Shane reported no pain in his knee. One year later, he only needs one treatment a month. I don't have to wear a knee brace anymore. I'm able to go without taking ibuprofen every four hours. I'm, I'm able to work all day. When I get home, I'm able to do stuff. Um, it was just, it was life changing for me to be able to, to have that benefit and to have that here in Greenville was um, amazing. If I don't come in and have a treatment, it lets me know it, and it reminds me that, hey, it's time to, to go back and have that treatment done so that I can continue my, my life and do the things that I enjoy doing. We offer free consultations and first treatments at Advantage Therapy Solutions. Call today to schedule your appointment at 252-689-8729. We're waiting for you on Facebook now. Like us or watch the show. Find us at 1037 WTIB. Now back to the show with Henry <laughs> Okay, it's 8.30. Welcome back uh, to the program, and uh, we're happy to have with us the uh, Chief of Police for the City of Greenville, Chief Mark Holtzman, on the telephone. Good morning, Chief. How are you? Good morning, Henry. Thank you for having me on. Uh, all is well in the city this morning, I hope? Yeah, we're doing well. Uh, it's a different time, uh, certainly out on the road, but uh, we're, uh, we're doing well, and everybody's uh, holding up pretty good. I wanted to get you on this morning because uh, of two or three reasons. Number one, um, the citywide order that was signed by Mayor Conley went into effect last week. And then, you know, we started seeing reports um, on Facebook complaints, people saying uh, people are not heeding the warning. They're getting out and doing things they should not be doing. You know, parking lots at some of the big box stores were full over the weekend. And then I heard that. Uh, officers had been deployed to some of the big boxes yesterday and were handing out leaflets reminding people that they should only be there for essential needs and those kind of things. Uh, did that come about as a result of, uh, of of the sense that there were too many people out and about on Saturday? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we we uh, started getting some reports there, uh, especially around uh, you know, some of the big box stores that there were a lot of people going out for, uh, you know, what could easily be construed as some non-essential activities. There were certainly essential activities taking place, too. But needless to say, we went out. Uh, it was an education uh, piece for us. So we went out. Uh, we I know it looked like we were handing out leaflets, but we really weren't. Uh, we were uh, trying to keep some social distance and just uh, educate people on the way into the stores. Uh, just, uh, you know, our, our approach was simply to bring awareness to the fact that the mayor's order's out and, um and we're asking people just to keep their shopping to essential needs. Uh, we weren't in the shopping cart inspection business or anything like that, but it was an education piece. It's really, it's two points. So it's one piece was to talk to the businesses. And so I was out myself talking to some of the businesses, uh, talking to them about the need for social distancing inside the business. In other words, when you go to check out, you don't want somebody right on top of you. So some of the businesses are already beginning to put those measures in place. Lowe's is one of those that, that has, uh, has gone uh, to pretty great lengths inside their store, putting some X's on the floor, keeping some six feet distances between people, putting some guards up between the counter and, and the customer, things like that. But then there's a, there's a responsibility piece for the public as well. So it's only so much you can put on the business. We as public need to take some ownership in this to help stop the spread of this uh, this virus. So what were your officers saying to folks that were going into these stores yesterday? Uh, it was just a very brief conversation. Uh, we would, uh, uh, as they would walk up, we would say, good morning, and uh, are you aware that there's a, a mayor's uh, proclamation out for essential travel only, essential needs only? Uh, we got a lot of looks, and we'd <laughs> say they, most people would say yes, they did. And, uh, and I would say that while we're there, we would see uh, very few non-essential items coming out. Uh, but uh, <laughs> if we'd take a break and come back, it would, it would quickly return to normal. So I appreciate you having me on this morning because it's, it's something that we need the public to take serious. We need their help. There's no way I can, I can police uh, every single individual person in Greenville. We need to police ourselves. So I'm asking everybody to take some, some ownership in that. It's a, it's a time to set the example. Uh, for your neighbor, set the example for your kids, and uh, and really help us out. 
Uh, these orders are out there. The, the threat is real. Uh, we're all watching it nationally. We're watching the, the count go up. We're watching people get, get sick. And unfortunately, we're watching a death count go up. This is a deadly virus, and we need to treat it like that. I think if we all work together, we can beat it. Chief Mark Holtzman on the telephone with us. Uh, I think what you just said is the thing that worries most of us, uh, Chief, is that b uh, p there people just are not taking it seriously enough yet. And, of course, we haven't seen anything like New York here, but uh, the new um, – projections on the deaths the death count in, in this country is staggering it's just a and and I, getting that message over to young people i know that there were uh, there were reports of uh huge parties down on the coast uh, this weekend boat parties and things like that there have been reports right. of some um some arrest in places like Maryland. There was a guy who had a had sixty people at a party and refused to break it up. So, so what's your position? I mean, at what point do the police have to get um, a, a little more involved and uh, and start issuing citations and things like that? Have you gotten to? Have you done any of that yet? No, we haven't had to get to that yet. Uh, it's been really a lot of compliance. And, you know, as, as we drive around as a community, we're, we're seeing, we're talking about big box stores this morning, but we're, we're all driving by the smaller businesses that closed. They, they, they were compliant. They closed. Um, some of them closed completely. And uh, those are some families and, and some employees that are really suffering. So to ask somebody to, to sort of limit their, their essential travels to, to just the essential needs is not that much of a, of an ask when we're asking these business owners, some of them, to go without any any income at all during this period. So uh, as, a, as a department, we're always prepared to enforce it. Um, it, it does have an enforcement component. Uh, first, first step is always education. Your radio show is a great way to reach our local community and to educate and ask people to help stop the spread. Um, keep your travel to the essentials uh, that are in the guide and uh, and allow me to have my officers on uh, on different assignments we don't want to have uh, all of our police officers have to be out at uh, these big box stores policing what really we should all be doing ourselves is just policing ourselves uh, if we do get into a case where uh, we we are repeatedly uh, not getting any compliance then yes enforcement is always an option for us uh, but uh, i believe in our community and i believe that uh, in in that we're going to get through this and Chief, you kind of answered my next question was, I was going to ask you if you came up on a situation and as you said, education uh, being the first step, because I know you don't want to have to write a citation to someone who's not complying by the orders. But if you do, uh, I guess you're going to say, okay, listen, guys or, or, or girls or whomever may be gathering time to go home. Then if they come back and again, you get a complaint, that's when you may have to take the next step and actually enforce. Is that correct? That, that's it. You, you got it. Uh, we're going we're gonna to go just like we would on anything else, ask for compliance. If we're coming back to the same uh, business, maybe that's, uh, that uh, would be in violation of it. But probably more likely it's going to be that, that gathering, that public gathering that you're speaking of, the big, um, you know, the, the party. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's a hurricane, you have a hurricane party. This is not a hurricane, folks. We need to take this serious. And, and not and not gather so yes uh, i think uh, you would you would go and talk to the uh, property owner the the person renting the property and start with them and certainly everybody in there would be subject to to a violation but uh more than likely we would just talk to the owner uh we could give a, a citation it is a criminal citation it's a it's a class two misdemeanor so it's not just a, a civil ticket so really trying to avoid getting anything on anybody's record as we get through this this um this pandemic chief holtzman um we had an incident at um uh, the trade it store on greenville boulevard this weekend where there was a shooting that took place and and i've you know I, i've i've wondered about um and, and that could have been totally unrelated to any of, of the the crisis but as as people become a little more desperate and i and i think about also people who might be hooked on drugs uh and things like that uh, that may or may have trouble getting to their um uh, to their drugs and those kind of things i mean is that something that you're thinking about and, and have concerns about moving forward 
It's something we'll certainly keep an eye on. I get the question, are our calls for service uh, going up or down? The answer is right now they're holding steady, but I am pulling uh, data on that every week so I can keep our staff informed every week where we're seeing any kind of an, an uptick in crime. Um, the, the traded incident, uh, I went out and spoke to the uh, actually the people involved and the store management and um, to get a little bit of the backstory on it, and that was just somebody that came in to, to um, sell something to the store and uh, there was a, just a, a verbal dispute, and it just was complete, taken completely out of hand. Um, so that's unfortunate, uh, and we haven't really had any props at that place before, and so that was a that was an odd one for us to have. I uh, yeah, desperate times, desperate uh, desperation. I think we we are all going to have to swallow some extra patience with everybody, and uh, certainly our officers are, are practicing social distance when we're contacting people. We're trying to always de-escalate everything, and um, yeah, it, I think uh, you know. We could get strained. People are all going to get strained financially or for different reasons, and we need to, you know, exercise as much patience as we can. And we can I talk real quick just to sure. add a comment about uh, some of the bigger decisions that were made. I think as we back up and put things in perspective, I just come to mind this morning, and that is I thought you know, some of the bigger decisions that were made in our local community are, are going to be studied, I think, into the future. I, I, I thought about, you know, next year there's probably going to be college classes on COVID-19 pandemic and, and the community and national response to it. Our local community made some really tough decisions early on. We, we passed some early mayor proclamations. The university held the students coming back from spring break. Those are going to be, um, I think, looked at as as really the turning points for our local community and why uh, why we're going to be able to get through this. Uh, that's an interesting point, and um, and uh, you know, again, uh, I think there this this whole situation will be studied for years to come. I just hope that it uh, we're studying it as uh, wow, can you believe that happened, and now it's gone. Uh, <laughs> uh, we we see yeah. that uh, we see that uh, even here in Greenville. I don't know if you uh, are aware of this or not. We talked about this earlier, but even here in Greenville, North Carolina, at Patheon. Over the weekend, uh, they were working to fill 700 vials of, um, I have such a hard time pronouncing that, uh, rem, remdesivir, which is that malaria okay. drug. And uh, I don't know if people realize, but that, that is actually being uh, uh, packaged here in Greenville as we speak, like 700 vials to go out to uh, clinical trials. So there uh, were. That yeah, doesn't tell you with pride what won't. Right? Yeah, exactly. So our community. Uh, could be playing a big role in trying to to uh, put the halt on this thing, and I certainly hope that happens. And, and Chief, with the statewide order going into effect this afternoon at 5 o'clock, I know that Mayor Conley's order uh, was set to uh, take effect until April 10th. Of course, when that ends, the statewide order will still be in effect, obviously, for residents of Greenville. I guess you guys will still take the similar or same precautions you guys are taking now once it's just a statewide order, correct? Uh, that's right. I, I will tell you this, uh, that uh, the city uh, leadership team, including the mayor, we, we worked through the weekend on this. And uh, and uh, I would I can report that there, there are expected some additional measures to be taken. So we'll keep the community up to date on that. Uh, it seems uh, we're evaluating this constantly and adjusting to make it fit for our community. So I know uh, that there are some additional measures that are being worked on right now. And we'll get that information out to the community as soon as we can. And that's a, at a local level. Um, the uh, And you mentioned the governor's proclamation, or I'm sorry, the governor's order. That does go into effect today at 5 o'clock. So it's, it's a little, it's a lot coming at everybody, especially our business owners. And we're really trying to get out. And we'll be out today. I'll be out this morning talking to, to some businesses again, educating them on the interior social distancing. So even if you're an essential business, this is the important one. If you're an essential business, if you're open and you're listening to this, you have to take a look at the mayor's order on social distancing inside your store. Distance for your customers to keep your employees safe and your customers safe. Take a look at that. It's Section 16 in his order. And uh, do we yeah, lose, so do that, we, would we lose be, that would be the biggest thing I want to draw attention to. Yeah. All right. I'm sure you're busy and have other things to do. We appreciate you taking the time this morning, Chief. Uh, keep us posted if we can uh, get any more information out for you. 
All right. Thank you, Henry. All right. Thank you. Chief Mark Holtzman from um, the Greenville Police Department, the chief of police at 844. And, you know, interesting, he says more additional Additional measures measures coming i'd heard that over the weekend but i wasn't Greenville. exactly sure what that might entail i'm i'm you know there were some complaints over the weekend about the big box stores being full the rumors were that um that the big box stores were just absolutely slammed on saturday it was a beautiful day people wanted to get out of the house and so you know uh, here's the thought process were they there because they had to be there, they needed something, or were they there because they were bored and wanted to get out of the house and it was a beautiful day? Probably both. And, uh, and so the question uh, that looms is whether or not they're going to take additional measures on those kind of businesses. And we will see. I mean, I hate to see any additional measures on business right now. I really do. But, uh, um, you know, I, I, I don't know uh, what else – can be done to stop the spread and these new numbers over the weekend. Again, every morning we wake up hoping for better news, and every morning we wake up and it seems like the numbers are going up and the projections are going up. So it's um, we got to do something to get it under control. 14 in front of 9. Let's get a break in. We'll be right back. Everyone counts in the 2020 U.S. Census. This month, local households will be receiving invitations to respond to the 2020 Census. Census participation is vital for our community as responses help shape our future by determining funding, federal representation, and more. There are three easy ways to respond, online, by phone, or by mail, and all responses are confidential. For more information about the Census, visit 2020census.gov. Thank you for helping our community through Census Participation. When working outside, the last thing you need is for your equipment to break down. Get ready for the upcoming season with a visit to Lawnmower Service Company. Family owned and operated, Lawnmower Service Company can service all types of lawn and garden equipment. And they also have a great selection of mowers, trimmers, and chainsaws for sale. Pickup and delivery is available. Call 321-3900. Lawnmower Service Company, Dickinson Avenue, Extension, Greenville. 321-3900. That's 321-3900. Feel the power of savings at Greenville Toyota during the Power of Savings event. Get a new 2020 Toyota Corolla LE lease for only $149 a month. A new 2020 Toyota Camry LE lease, just $189 a month. We powered up the savings on over 150 new Toyotas. It's the Power of Savings event at Greenville Toyota on South Memorial Drive. Across from Lowe's or GreenvilleToyota.com. Where our volume saves you money. 36 month leases, 3878 Camry, 45 Zero security deposit with approved credit. Plus tax, title registration, 698. Dealer fee expires three. 3120. Tired of feeling like just another number when picking up your prescription with possible unanswered questions? At HealthWise Pharmacy of Greenville, you're not just a number, you're family. Locally owned and operated by pharmacist Marcy Parker, HealthWise Pharmacy puts you and your health first, offering top-of-the-line customer service and expertise. HealthWise Pharmacy even offers free prescription delivery to anywhere in Pitt County. Located at 615B South Memorial Drive in Greenville, HealthWise Pharmacy, committed to you and your health every step of the way. Staffing problems can be a pain, especially temporary staffing. Let Roebuck Staffing of Greenville, Newburn, and Washington take that headache away. Roebuck Staffing can help you no matter where you are in eastern North Carolina. Will Roebuck and his staff are committed to fulfilling your staffing needs in a smooth and stress-free manner. They can handle your staffing needs for construction, manufacturing, janitorial, and clerical. They also do temporary to permanent and direct hiring. Call Roebuck Staffing at 252-364-8700 or find them online at roebuckstaffing.com. With over 50 stores in eastern North Carolina and southeastern Virginia, Duck Through Food Stores offers brand name gas in a wide range of food, snacks, and beverages. Get your Duck Through Rewards card and receive 25 cents off per gallon upon registration. After that, Duck Through Rewards members receive 3 cents off on all gallons of gas up to 20 gallons. And cool rewards like buy 6 20-ounce Pepsi products and get the 7th free. Get your Duck Through Rewards card now and start earning points for discounts on gas and free drinks and snacks. Duck through. It's a nine o'clock world. The work starts at nine. Don't worry. You're not late yet. Yeah. Back to Henry Hinton and Talk of the Town on 1037 WTIB. <laughs> McGee thinks he's a magician now. I'm like uh, Joe Exotic. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Thank God. God, you uh, hope, I hope I shouldn't not. have said that. No, I'm not. So McGee has a magic trick. Did you put it on our Facebook? No, but I will. He did I will. it on the uh 
he did it on the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, the, the Chamber's doing a uh, kind of a, a Spirit Week thing to keep people uh, just to keep people positive and to have fun. And today's Magic Monday, and so you have to put a magic trick on. And so I'm going to make a a card, a Uno card, standalone in midair by itself. I just saw it on Facebook. It amazed me. Sure did. <laughs> and by the way, I asked the question: Did you superimpose it? I did not. No, so my wife asked the same question. So it's she, truly, she kept saying, she's it like, is truly magic then, is what you're saying. It's magic. She was like, it's Photoshop. You put it up. I was like, no, I did not. You can actually hear me touch the card in the video. It's magic. So how'd you do it? It's magic. I'm not going to reveal my, <laughs> my secrets. Wow. You know, I want to know how all the magicians do all their stuff. Well, ever since you were talking about the the magician that you and Mayor Conley saw and the things he did, I mean, just that kind of stuff amazes me. I'm fascinated by it. Those things are on a different level from what yeah, I'm when doing the guy, the when the guy right. made somebody's initials appear on his arm that with blood amazing. in his arm, that did it for me. That's amazing. <laughs> Ten minutes in front of nine o'clock. Let's. Uh, I don't know why, but let's check sports. Here's McGee. All right, the biggest... Should we just eliminate the sports segment on the show, you think, or not? No, no, no. Other okay. things will come out. Other things will All happen. Right. Today's okay. a big day because the NCAA is going to vote on whether or not to grant eligibility relief to student athletes in spring sports. Those students are losing out on this season due to the coronavirus <laughs> pandemic and are fighting for an additional year. The NCAA says the main concern is the financial burden it will have on smaller schools. Now, we did hear uh, ECU Director of Athletics uh, John Gilbert talk about this when he was on Talk of the Town uh, a couple of weeks ago. Knicks and Rangers owner James Dolan has tested positive for the coronavirus. He is the first U.S. major pro sports owner to have tested positive for the virus. So, again, we'll keep an eye on today what the NCAA votes on, whether or not our senior athletes will receive an extra year of eligibility and report on that tomorrow, uh, certainly with ECU basketball and ECU baseball. Tim? Uh, the Fayetteville Hospital System, Cape Fear Valley Health, uh, laid off 300 workers starting today. Wow, it's a strange time to be laying off hospital people. I know we had the 200, had 190 layoffs here at Vida before this coronavirus thing started. But uh, right here in the middle of it, Cape Fear Valley Hospital in Fayetteville has announced they are laying off 300 workers. Uh, it says inpatient occupancy has declined to about 66% from normally being full, according to Cape Fear, Fear Valley uh, Health on Friday. Emergency room de uh, visits have declined by 21%, while inpatient stays are off by 34%. The hospital has closed operating rooms that perform mostly outpatient electives. What's going on? In Why are there people? It's you would hear that. that maybe, maybe that's strange. a good thing. But not laying off the workers. I mean, the fact that the hospital itself isn't receiving yeah. a high volume of patients. And by the way, that hospital has only seen one COVID-19 case so far. Um, let's see what else is going on. Um, we mentioned all the restaurants that are doing different things. And uh, Homer Tires uh, Keep Them Open Challenge. Uh, here's another restaurant story. Taco Bell has just announced that they're going to give out free tacos tomorrow on Taco Tuesday. So if you go through a drive through tomorrow, you get a free Doritos Locos Taco, and you don't have to buy anything. No purchase necessary. Or steal a base. All right. <laughs> You will not get one if you order delivery, so good thing uh, Taco Bell's essential enough to stay open, I guess. So, uh, of course it is. is uh, that's, a, that's a sales promotion for Taco Bell, isn't it? <laughs> it is. I mean, because it doesn't cost them anything to do a taco. They're just trying to get people. Yeah. Yeah. The average couch will see 7,842 hours of TV watching, 6,960 spills, and 4,428 kisses. You know, one of the questions I was about to ask the police chief, have you seen an uptick in domestic calls hmm. with husbands and wives staying home yeah. more yeah yeah i hope not Seven thousand eight hundred forty-two hours of tv or roughly 12 hours a week that seems low but maybe it includes that plastic covered couch in your childhood home that kids were not allowed to sit on uh, there will be 6960 spills or about 11 a week and um the remote will get lost 900, time, 900 times or once or twice a week. Yeah, I'm on yeah, 
number 75 for that. Do your kids lose it? Or do you blame it on your kids and then realize that it's you that slipped it under the cushion? I know. I don't. And it's my kids and it's my wife. Are yeah, you, are you, I am. Are you she, accusing she's, your, she's guilty of that. Are you accusing your wife of yes. losing the remote? Mm-hmm. I am. Yeah. Guilty. <laughs> guilty as accused. Uh, all right, we're going to uh, we're going to we're going to get our laugh track on again. Um, do you watch uh, Tosh 2.0 I, I, on Comedy Central? I have I have seen it numerous times. He's crazy, isn't he? He is. <laughs> He's a little out there. <laughs> he would never make it in mainstream media because his act usually is on <clears throat> the bizarre. No. He's not no. as bizarre as Joe Exotic, but he's, uh, if you've never seen Tosh 2.0, uh, Daniel Tosh this morning on our laugh track. Here we go. Gave a commencement speech recently at a high school and that didn't go well at all. <laughs> a bunch of high school kids, parents that are proud of them, and I'm belittling the entire thing. <laughs> and the administration got really upset with me. They're like, oh, uh, we didn't know you weren't gonna take it seriously. Uh, to which I replied, really? <laughs> You thought this was where I was going to get serious? High school, how did you do it? <laughs> no. I refused to give that generic speech. As I look out here, I see future lawyers and doctors. I gave the real speech. There's felons here. <laughs> Explain to me why a dose of reality before community college is a bad thing. Because I certainly don't need to pander to the 1%. They don't need my little pep rally. They're going to be just fine. Nobody's turned it around because the commencement address. <laughs> Excuse me? No. no, no, it just clicked. So you're saying I can be anything? <laughs> oh yeah, that sounds way better than what I was gonna do. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> All right, Daniel Tosh. That is it for today. Enjoy the sunshine. Going to have sunshine, high temperatures around uh, 78, maybe 9. Uh, we might get up to 80 degrees today. Won't see 90 like we saw in some areas of eastern North Carolina yesterday. Overnight lows tonight in the 50s. Uh, tomorrow we got a little rain possibility moving in, 30% chance. And we'll go down to about 65 for a high. And uh, then on Wednesday we won't even get to 60 and another 30% chance of rain. All right, McGee, have a great day. You as well. All right, everybody, uh, order from your local restaurants. Keep them in business. Let's do what we can to help our fellow man. Think of something you can do to help somebody else today. That might make you feel good. Good point. And stay home. Don't spread the virus. We'll be seeing you tomorrow. Business owners, does your business need increased sanitization? ECVC is here to help. For 14 years, our large staff of well-trained, qualified employees have been disinfecting and sanitizing offices, churches, industrial, and municipal buildings. ECVC offers custom-designed cleaning services with a schedule that fits your needs. Call ECVC at 341-5822. That's 341-5822. Or go to ecvcinc.com to learn more about how our sanitization services can work best for your business. Coastal living in eastern North Carolina, there's nothing like it. And now there's Bow Coast, a new resort-style community in Beaufort, recently designated the coolest small town in America. Modern coastal luxury with classic southern charm. That's Bow Coast. Imagine a community with everything waiting for you. That's Bow Coast. A community lake for paddleboarding and kayaking. A clubhouse with amazing architecture. Amenities like resort pool, full-size kitchen, and flat-screen TVs. Take a golf cart to Beaufort's downtown and waterfront restaurants. Bow Coast Coast even has a day dock on Taylor's Creek, moments from the ocean. Plus, there's Traders, a gathering place overlooking the lake with fireplace, outside seating, and fire pit. Also, Bogro, a deli with sandwiches and takeout dinners from the famous Beaufort Grocery. Visit Bow Coast this weekend, a Preston Development Company community with homes built by Streamline Builders. Come by the Bow Coast Sales Office on Front Street in Beaufort and get a tour for yourself. Learn more at bowcoastnc.com. Bow Coast, live easy. Hendrick. It's time to put your dream car in your driveway. Get to Barber Hendrick Honda Greenville to save big on the season's hottest vehicle lineup. And now during the Honda Dream Garage Spring Event, get a 2020 Honda CRV two wheel drive LX for just $269 a month. Or drive home the 2020 Honda Pilot two wheel drive LX for just $299 a month. Hurry in today for your test drive or shop BarberHendrickHonda.com. For well qualified customers, 36 month lease, $19.99. Total due at signing includes down payment. No security deposit required. Excludes tax, title, license, and dealer fees. Hey, honey, you want to hear a joke? Oh, dear. Not another one. 
Why did that bunny cross the road? Bunny? Don't you mean why did the chicken cross the road? No, I mean bunny. And he was going to fill up his basket with Krispy Kreme's adorable spring donut collection. Spring donuts are back at Krispy Kreme. But this time, they've gone mini. This collection of cuteness includes the mini spring chick, a mini donut dipped in yellow icing and decorated to resemble a chick. The mini bunny bum, a mini original glazed donut dipped in green icing with a dollop of original cream and two sugar bunny feet. And there's the mini flower donut, hand decorated with strawberry icing. And last but not least, the mini chocolate ice donut with spring sprinkles. Try them all before they hop away. Krispy Kreme is working hard to share the joy during this difficult time. We are serving customers through our drive-thru and offering delivery within 10 miles of the shop. Visit KrispyKreme.com or download the Krispy Kreme Rewards app to learn more. Krispy Kreme, Greenville, Goldsboro, Rocky Mount.